Hey everyone, before we get back into the uh, normal videos, I'd just like to run through a uh, product that's been sent to me from OE Light. Um, we have the Parent 10 Mini, uh, Parent 10 Desert Mini, and we have the Warrior Mini and the i3T EOS. Um, it's like a little pen light. This one here I've found is really, really good. Like, I've been using this. This is uh, what I've been I've been going out um, using like a head torch. You can clip it onto your, your collar and it works as like a head torch. So that way I can have a GoPro on my head or especially when, you, when you're shooting geese, I can't wear, I'm wearing the camera on my head so I can't put a head torch on. Um, it, it's really light, it's uh, rechargeable. They all will come with these rechargeable uh, magnet things which are just like that is magnet on and they charge through themselves. Uh, this one also comes with a way to head mount it if you want to have it as a head mount. So that's really good. And um, the little Warrior uh, Mini I found was really good for like going out chasing after um, Cherubin and Red Claw and uh, using them more to light the track, like a head and all that. Um, it's, it's really powerful. It's a, uh, I think this one's uh, 1,500 lumens. The uh, little one, this is 1,000 lumens. Um, this one here, I'm not sure how many lumens it is, but it's pretty bright. Little, oh, this one's 180 lumens, according to what it's saying there. Um, but yeah, this is still really, really powerful. Like, I put this one in the car, just so when you get in the car and you're like, oh, I can't find something, you just turn that on. Um, Today they've got a sale on from 8 o'clock, 40% uh, off. Um, I think they're great value for what they are. Uh, they're a great little torch. This one here especially, just a really good idea because even when you um, have a backpack, you can slot it on like that. You can, you, there's so many ways to clip that on because the torch is on that angle. Um, with this one here, it's got a, like a light on it on the um, thing that tells you how much power is left on it. Um, they're really, I've already haven't, I've only charged these once since I've owned them and I've been out, and I already have spent over eight hours with them, uh, out use, actually using them and they're still charged. So they've got a mad battery life. Um, yeah, so from eight o'clock uh, when I post this video, there'll be a one day sale of 40% on these products. I'll leave the link um, in the description if you want to go over there and check that out. Um, again, if they weren't any good, I wouldn't be uh, advertising them. I would have just said, ah, oh, mate, they're, they're, they're no good, but these are really, really good torches. Um, you've probably seen a lot, of, a, a lot of advertising on them at the moment. I think they're just really highly engineered torches, like really quality made, um, compared to most junk that you buy nowadays. So, great product. Oh, back to the normal video. Ew. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Hunting NT. It's currently 2.40 a.m. in the morning and opening day of make by geese season. Um, I'm heading out to Harrison Dam <clears throat> for opening day. Um, hopefully we get some birds. Um, just doing the intro here at home before it's uh, it's going to be pitch black out there. Uh, bag limits for this year is seven geese, ten ducks. It should be a awesome morning. Can't wait. All right, catch us out here, out there. Yeah. Early morning McDonald's. We got a bit of time to kill. Um, shooting at uh, light isn't until six o'clock, so you're not allowed to even not meant to shoot the gun until three and six o'clock. I've um, already seen a few people out already in their camo stuff, so I reckon uh, a lot of people are heading out to their favourite spots. Alright, I'm going to get some food and I'll catch you out there. Okay, I think I found my spot. This will have to do for me um, camouflage. So, it's only just uh, to distort my face. I'll hide my face behind it. Step out, shoot. If they come the other way and go around behind it, step out, shoot.
Man, I have the worst luck at this. <laughs> it's like everyone's driving down there now because the birds are all just, it's like they're running from that storm which is just starting to form. Mate, I hear shots down there. It's maybe that it's not near me because I'm unlucky. <laughs> Blew its head clean off. <laughs> That's good, that means there's no tamp, no meat damage, it's just in here you died real quick. Good morning everyone, welcome to another day of geese shooting. Um, we've got two so far on the ground, beautiful sunrise. I love to do a big shout out to fishing and outdoor world. Great bunch of blokes, it's where I get all my ammo, all my fishing gear. And they got these nice shirts in, oh, there's a good uh, picture on the back of it too, good camo gear. Nice and uh, airy so you don't get overheated. The hats are as well, they breathe. and. It's just a beautiful morning out here and I'm having a good time at the moment because I'm not having people shoot over the top of me. I'm not having people pick up my birds when I shoot them. And I can hear geese coming, so... I'll hang up on you right now and I'll get back to shooting. Alright, got a big mob coming straight at us. Just lost the thumb. As if I missed. Everyone's everyone shot too fucking early. Here it is.
where did I leave my phone? Where's me fucking thongs? Where? Okay, what we're gonna do with the geese, what I do is I normally just cut it up into pieces about that big, into squares. Just to break the tension in it. Chuck it in. This container. As you can see, it's got more. It's not like a. It's got more the um, texture of beef than uh, waterfowl. That's why a lot of people make uh, jerky out of it. Um, I'll do a jerky video in the next one, but for right now, I'm just going to do shazlicks. So some meat skewers with capsicum and onion. Um, but I'll let these marinate for a while before um, I'll put them on the skewers. Once you get the point, just cut it all up. What this does, this helps it not tensing up. When it's a uh, one piece, it sort of goes a bit um, like a solid mass. Like this, it's just breaking the sinew lines on it. Rinsing. Now, I'll probably put a bit of garlic salt in there. Not too much. A bit of pepper. A 
and a bit of all seasoning spice. Not too much because the honey soy, we want to taste the honey soy. And I'm going to mix that through first. Just get that coating. Alright. Now we're going to add the honey soy. Let that get it all around. Alright, um, catch you in a sec when we um, let this marinate for a few hours. I like to leave it overnight, but um, we'll just marinate it for a few hours so I can finish this video off. And uh, I'll catch you when we're doing that. Okay, we're going to put these on the shells now. It's been a couple of hours. I'm going to go. Bit of capskin, bit more geese, bit of onion, bit of geese, capskin. You get what I'm doing, just making. Cheslicks. Oh, I forgot to put them on. I'm only going to make a few up because it's just me and I can't eat all of this in one sitting. This is, I think, two birds worth. Um, it's the first one. That's our four shadlicks. Then cook on one side, put on the other side. It's a red meat, so it still takes a while to cook, but you'll be able to tell still very easily. Right, I'll catch you back when I'm turning them. Uh, I'm going to give them a bit of a turn. They're getting there. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, Magwag like is so good. Love to give a shout out to my nieces and nephews who've been watching the the uh, videos. To little Ruby, Seamus, and Evelyn. For him. Hope you're having a good day and I'll catch you on my next adventure. Woo.